Okay, we talked about the plants, trees, and placement of the objects. I decided to talk about lighting. Imagine which we placed all of the objects which we want. We can have them how we like and how we need them. But at the end, we need to control the light in this scene. When we want to do this, as I told you before, we can use these lights which I described them for you. First type or second type, both of them can be available, but my favorite one is lamp number 5 here. And as you can see, we can select it and place it in the scene in this way. But I suggest you to have one lamp. It's not necessary to have all of them here. When you place it, you can have this menu at the right. And with controlling this menu, we can do several things. First of all, I can control the brightness. After a while with working in this software and controlling the light, you will understand the amount of uh, brightness, how much is enough for rendering. Sometimes I set it in 75 or 80 for myself. And after that, we have core angle here. Try to keep your eyes on here to understand what is happening. Here is too light, it should be darker, so I need to control it. And now let's do this one more time. And as you can see, when I'm controlling the core angle and when I'm changing it, this angle is changing. This item is for showing the light source. Right now, it's inside the roof. When I move it, as you can see, it's visible. But we can have this possibility to hide it or show it. In some special situations which you don't have any special lamp, it can be useful. Or even when you have linear lights, you can show your lights like a white line. We ignore this part for now. Shadow can be in medium. And here we can have IES light. In this current situation, when we have IES lights, which we can download them, we can consider them for here. In this way, we can have the lights in the desired angle. Here in this section, we have another part, which is target light. Here we can choose a target to have the light on it. As in a stance, I select here. When I click on this, it will be like this, and I can change it. Here we have another part. When we open this tab, we can do some special things here. As in a stance, we can replace this object with a light which we can select it in this list. Here again, one more time, some other items. One of them is focus on selection. And the next one, when we want to know about the type of the lamp, we can choose this item. In this way, we can see it in the library. It shows that it's number three. This item is for selecting all identical objects. But this is the only lamp which we have in this project. And the last item here is for selecting all objects in the same category. After that, here in this section, we have randomized rotation or size. When we select some lamps in the project, we can use these items for them to randomize them in size or rotation. And these items here are for placing on landscape. As you can see right now, this lamp is moved, or this one which is confirmed to landscape. I don't use these items too much, I try to control them manually. And as you can see, here is this lamp like this in this situation. Um, that's it, placing the lights. For now it's enough, but we will talk about it later.